Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of water on our paintbrush, and you have to do this very gently, and you slowly blend out the watercolor so that it reactivates the watercolor, and it blends it nicely. So I'm trying to stay in this one corner where the flipped part of the leaf is. And now I'm going to go over to the inside of the leaf. And I'm going to blend it. And I have to pay attention to where my red is and how it's going to blend. And I'm staying in the leaf. I'm not going across all of the leaves. I'm staying in the leaf with the paintbrush so that the color does not blend outside of that leaf. We want to keep the color inside the leaf but blend it nicely so it looks like all of them go together, all of the colors go together and there's no wispiness of the paint, I mean of the um, colored pencil. You can't see any of the streaks of the colored pencil, it blends it out really nice, almost like a marker blending. You're going to do this to every leaf making sure that you keep all of the color inside of that leaf. It doesn't go outside of the leaf. It stays and it's blended nicely. You don't see that colored pencil streakiness anymore. Now I'll do this one over here. I'm going to clean my brush good because I still had that color in it. And I'm going to slowly blend out this orange so it looks like where the vein is it's starting to turn orange slightly. So you're not going to see the um, colored pencil streaks anymore. It'll blend like it's a marker. And you'll do this to every single leaf, one at a time, blending it out gently and slowly. Then when you're done, you're going to start to pick your background. And because I used a warm color for my leaves, I'm going to use a cool color for my background to make my leaves pop forward. So after I do this part, I'll do the background. And I'll use blues and greens to do that. So I can actually blend out some of this and some purples with the watercolor. And then the whole background will be colored with cool color to make the warm color pop forward. I can blend some of my colors, like some of my greens and purples can go next to each other. I can use some more blue with it. And then when you go to blend them out later, gently, you won't have those streaks anymore of the colored pencil. And it'll look like you painted the whole background in. It won't look like you color penciled it. It'll be a nice blending of color. If you notice, it's all blended. It's not streaky anymore.